Hey Simlies, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 2 Episode 14 and I was just checking out Amethyst then because she's gorgeous and I love her. I'm kind of obsessed with her and Topaz. I think they're the coolest Sims ever. Uh, hey Stella Halcom, do you want to maybe, please sit down, just sit down, please leave. <laughs> Um, anyways, how are you guys going today? I hope you guys are well. It's a Saturday here whilst I'm recording in Melbourne, Australia, and I just went to West Elm and I got one of those acrylic trays, which was awesome, for $20 reduced from $60 because it had a little crack in it. So I'm in a particularly good mood today and I hope you guys are too. Anyways, in the, that was so random. Um, but anyways, in the last part, I or in the last related part. Uh, I made a video about Topaz's um, potential girlfriends. I picked some of your awesome creations off the gallery to put into the Let's Play. So if you haven't checked it out already, you can check out uh, some of the new characters that may appear in the series made by Simleys. And yeah, I was stoked with them. So thank you so much for making them and putting them in the game. It was awesome. Alrighty. So Barbie's Eden. She's eating her baked potato. How is she going? She is about to pop. I'm really hoping she has the baby in this part because I just really want her to have the baby. <laughs> and um, you know what we might do? Maybe we should go out and try and meet some of the some of the new girls. So maybe Amethyst and Topaz can go out for a little while and uh, go, see, go see who's out on the town. What's her? Where am I going? Needs. Okay, she's in a unbelievable mood, and so is Topaz, and I swear I didn't cheat them, so that's pretty awesome. All right, let's go out. Uh, I do not like this outfit anymore. I am over it, so let's change that, and let's go out. I hope we meet, I think the girl's name was Nita. Uh, heaps of you guys loved her, and I've actually put her in a house here that is just her, just a teen living in it. I didn't even know I could put teens in houses by themselves. So that's pretty awesome. I only knew one guy who, maybe we should go to the estate because it's just such a pretty lot. Yeah, let's go there for a change. No, change your mind. Let's go over here. Let's go to the cafe, the gym, the nightclub, the pool. Hmm. Let's go to this coffee shop. And we're going to take Amethyst with us and maybe Ruby as well. Uh, but yeah, I have only met one person who I knew who lived by themselves in a house as a teenager. Basically, they came from a pretty wealthy family, but their parents just didn't really get along with them. And they didn't get along with their parents, even though they were lovely. And um, yeah, they just lived by themselves, which from where I'm, I'm from, that's quite unusual. But what about you guys? Do any of you live alone and you're a teenager? Oh my God, do not turn into gem topaz. That is such a gem thing to do. <gasps> oh my God, sibling love. That was cute, you guys. Oh, stop it. It's gonna make me cry. Hey, Courtney Kardashian. Amethyst, I thought I told you to change your outfit, please. I guess I didn't give you enough time, did I? Let's try four. What's outfit number four? Is that the onesie? Oh, nah. She wore that last time. She needs new clothes, but you guys were saying in the comments I do too many makeovers of this family. <gasps> yes, girl. Yes. I wish I was these two. They're so cool and alternative. <gasps> Future man friend for Ken. He looks like a Ken man friend. Theo. Ken, please come here. I love how instant it is. So cheerful introduction. What have you guys have been saying? Ken needs some man friends, so give him some manly time. The Kardashians are like, in The Sims, they're like how they are in real life. They're always everywhere. <laughs> Can't get away from them. They come to every single lot that we go to. And really, I just want to meet some of the new folks. Oh my gosh, Ken! What are you wearing? Ken! That is not okay. Why are you looking so smug about yourself? You should... Oh my gosh. No. If Barbie saw you like this, she would probably have a... Like, give birth right there and then out of shock. Okay, so let's put him into everyday for... <gasps> How embarrassment. Okay, uh, I just... I really wanted the new folks to be here. 
Usually it's so likely they get spawned in the world when you play them for the first time or play with them for the first time. We might actually have to go to this girl's house. Maybe, maybe Topaz saw her in math class, Nita this is, and we're just going to go straight to her house, which is a little bit creepy, but maybe he was in her maths class and they're doing a project together and he has to call in to drop something off. And Amethyst is like, I want to come and meet her. And Ruby's going to come along for the ride as well. But maybe Amethyst, because they're such close siblings, maybe she said, you know, let's go to her house. You should drop off her, her notes or something. And maybe we can get to know her. And if I come too, it won't be as awkward because he probably has a mega crush on her. Ken, did I invite you here? Oh, damn. I didn't realize I was, I had selected him. Let's knock on the door. Hopefully she's home. I don't think we can knock if she's not home. Ruby should be a little brat and try and knock this over or rummage. Actually, no, she wouldn't do that because she's... Oh, that's awkward. Oh, here she is. I was like, no one's home. Okay, let's go up to her and look how beautiful this sim is. She was made by a simly and she's amazing. I love her tribal tattoo and her outfit and oh, it's beautiful. Okay. He wants to light a bonfire at some point. We can make that happen. Compliment house. So cool you live by yourself. I live in a mansion that's pink. <laughs> uh, let's just get them to get to know each other. We're just going to keep telling jokes because we are hilarious. He's great at being funny. So we'll just tell all the jokes in the book that he knows. And maybe don't chat about property values. That's so not his, he's not snobby. So he really doesn't care about that. Uh, discuss interests. That sounds good. Meanwhile, these guys are having an awesome time. Maybe Ken came along because Barbie said, oh, look, Nita in Topaz's class at school. She lives all by herself. So you should go check on her and tell her, you know, she needs anything. You're the man who lives just down the road to give us a call. I think that's what Ken would do. He's nice like that. Oh my gosh, I love this family. Look at them, they're so cute. I'm thinking of dyeing Amethyst's hair brown. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Tell a joke about ducks. We should tell dad jokes. That should be now joke to Amethyst. Lecture about responsibilities. You know what, do you wanna give those two a little bit of privacy? What's around here? Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh. Weird graphics kind of for The Sims, but I like it. It's a bit alternative. It looks really cool from the front. <gasps> duckies. <gasps> Baby duckies. Oh my gosh. Those ducks have the creepiest yellow eyes. Look at that duck there. It's like, I'm gonna get you. Now I'm gonna get you. Creepy ducks. Yeah, let's go. Let's just go for a little wonder. Maybe you guys can all go here together, but Topaz not so much. He's not in the group with them. Oh, what? No, not you. Maybe monkey around. How's our relationship going with her? And we're pretty hungry as well. Good, we're still acquaintances, but if we start to get to know her a little better. <gasps> she's probably a bit of a tomboy too. She's a boy's girl. She'd hang out with all the boys at school, so Topaz will probably find it really tricky to break the barrier. Oh, she didn't like that? Was that negative? I'm pretty sure that was negative just then. Hmm, it's no good. Mischief. Well, if she didn't like that, he might, she might not like him to be any more mischievous. So let's not do that. I feel like that's going to be a little bit, mm, you know what I mean? Like a little bit risky, risky business. Discuss neighborhood changes. Yips. Yips. Plagizi. Oh, these guys are an awesome couple. I'm shipping them hardcore. 
Chi what what's her name? Nita. Tonita. Tanita. To Topaz. Nita Paz. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with a shipping name, but I'm really bad at that. You guys will come up with a better one, no doubt. Compliment house again. We're not quite friends still. Still joke about Martians. Martians are hilarious. I really do not want to go for romance yet because I feel like that could go so wrong. Uh, this probably says do not pee in bush. <laughs> oh, Ken, I didn't realize how tired you were. I'm so sorry. You can go home now. You go home. Amethyst and Ruby are just having some time together. Let's cloud gaze together because that's adorable. Amethyst would have a wicked sense of humor, I'm sure. Uh, can you move out of the way, Brianna? Brianna? Can we cloud gaze together? Cloud gaze with Ruby, please. How's Topaz going? Oh no! We've left. Oh, where'd she go? Nita! Oh, she's there. She's running away from us. Oh. Oh, damn, girl! She's such a hottie. Uh, tell joke about fashion. He's so desperate to tell her jokes. She has the coolest outfits as well. Whichever Simley uh, created her, you have great sense of fashion. Chat about property values and... Are we friends yet? Yes, we are friends. We should ask out on a date. Can we do that? No, it's too soon. Can we ask to just hang out? Friendly. Mm. Oh, we can't. I guess we're already hanging out. I don't know. Express admiration and then, you know what? Let's just get to know her. Why not? Why not get to know? Oh, they're now looking at the stars. Oh, and she's cheerful. Oh, I think you guys can go home. We'll just, I think Amethyst, Amethyst probably waiting and Ruby's like, come on, Amethyst, let's go home and play Barbies. <gasps> Isn't that ironic? Because they are Barbies. <gasps> okay. Uh, I think she's into us. Okay. All right. I think we can move on to a little bit of flirting. I think we can. I think we can just ask if she's single. Just test the waters. Make sure she is and then just do a little bit of a flirt. Okay. She's a single lady. Oh, my single ladies. Oh, my single ladies. Oh, my single ladies. Make noise. Put your hands up. Put them up, girl. I guess she's not going to do that. Uh, oh my god, I'm so nervous. That went well, but there's no romance bar, so that didn't go well enough. Don't play in the rubbish, Topaz, you weirdo. It is not appropriate. Uh, okay, let's just do a little bit more flirting. I just really want them to get together. Oh, she was going to play. Okay, well then it wasn't that bad of an idea, Topaz, if she's going to do it too. She like it? I don't know if she's into that. I feel like she's not really receiving it as we would like her to. Uh oh. Oh my god. Let's exchange numbers. Oh. Uh oh. Do you think we should compliment appearance? I really do not want to stuff this up. Embrace. Oh my god, that's a big call though. Can we not embrace in front of the dirty bin though, perhaps? Let's go somewhere romantic. This is really romantic and quiet down here. Go here together. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. 
Oh, he's feeling really flirty. Are you coming over here? Oh, it's probably Barbie saying, are you going to be home for dinner for our Sunday roast? Oh, you missed it, really. <gasps> Kiss neck. Call over. I hope she didn't leave whatever it was burning. Oh my gosh. Offer a rose, because he's that kind of guy. Oh my gosh, and it matches her really well, the red. And kiss hands. I hear there's a great party going on at the nightclub right now. Jem, we're busy. Jem's going to be so jealous. <gasps> first kiss. Reveal crush and then first kiss. Oh my god, you guys. front of the waterfall. So romantic. <gasps> oh my gosh! This is the cutest couple ever! I love them together. I don't think we'll ask her to be our girlfriend yet. That's way too soon. But they definitely have something going on now. He loves her. This is my OTP. Oh my gosh. I love this mess around in bush. Actually, no, not the bush. That's kind of tacky. Let's <laughs> just mess around. Look at these. These remind me of Zelda back in the day. Hey, guys, I actually bought Critic Zeus the most awesome birthday present. It's like a Zelda robe, bathrobe. Oh, no, they can't woo you anywhere. Damn, but we could eat some of her sausages. What a beautiful tree. Lovely lighting. What a perfect first date. Let's sit down, grab a serving. We're starvating, aren't we? Yeah, we're pretty hungry. Are you guys gonna sit together? <gasps> oh, it's so cute. And look, they live right across the road from one another. They don't even need to talk that much. They just are eating in silence and really content and happy. This is my dream date. Oh, I love this. I love this. I wonder if Bobby's going to have a baby yet. It's a bit morbid what you're talking about, isn't it? I reckon we should leave on a good note. Like we should just have a little snuggle or a passionate kiss. Oh, let's go for the kiss. But yeah, I think we should just, you know, take it easy and just have a cute moment. And then you guys can let me know where or when we should ask her to be our girlfriend. Or if we just keep flirting with the other girls in town as well. But I think that's more Jem who's more of the player. In fact, we really need to find Jem a lady as well. That's true. We need to do that. Okay, he's pretty, hung uh, pretty <laughs> hungry. He's pretty tired. Oh, oh my goodness. For not having had a girlfriend before, Topaz, you know the moves. Been watching a lot of romance on TV, probably. All right, let's hold hands and then we should go say goodbye. I want to say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine with us. We're ready to go too. Like, we'll just leave. <laughs> oh, that was the most perfect date ever. Okay, we're back home and I think Topaz is feeling pretty good with himself. I think, yeah, I think he's very, very happy. And Amethyst, oh, she's asleep. I thought she would be already waiting in his room for all the gossip. But she's gone to bed. She's a little bit tired. Ruby over here, though. She's uh, having a little bit of fun on her ship. Uh, because she has her own ship in the garden because she's so spoiled. The lucky thing. And we'll take her up to her amazing bedroom with the balcony. And maybe she can play with Rose's house for a little while. And I'm, I'm disappointed that Barbie hasn't had the baby yet. I really thought she would have. Like, she is really about to explode. But I don't think it's going to happen in this part, sadly. I don't know. 
I think the nursery's ready though. We've got two cots ready if it's twins, but we know this game's a bit glitched. We've been trying to have twins forever and both her and Ken have the fertility traits. So I don't know, I don't know. It's just pretty annoying. We might get Barbie to continue writing some stuff though. I feel like, oh, I love how her coffee cup's there. That's awesome. I feel like she's she's got a lot of potential to be a writer because she's not really doing anything else. So <laughs> other than look pretty and work out. So I think that might be nice. And we'll get Ken to, uh, you know what? Are these set on auto lights just to save a bit of money? Let's put those on auto lights. Uh, tigers don't take naps. What about mm, pink tigers don't take naps? It has to have pink in it. A book she's writing for her future child. And is there anything in here? We've got some potatoes. We like our potatoes, don't we? Patata, patata, patata. And Topaz is fast asleep. What a good one. What a good one. What a, well, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon. <laughs>